Well, okay. <clears throat> this is hopefully not going to be a long video. It shouldn't be. This is a challenge, a perspective challenge. Um, this would prove whether the Earth is flat or a globe, just using perspective. See, within global mathematics, regardless of how much our opposition want to claim that perspective is totally accepted by all of them and it's all part of being on a globe, there is absolutely zero perspective accounted for in every observation they ever make. That's why all of their observations are all, observations are all calculated and shown as diagram in orthographic view. There is no optical drop, there is no visual occultation, there is no angular size change, um, compression with distance, anything. There's, no, there's none, none of those things are involved. Um, they don't take any of those things into account. And now they obviously, obviously don't take other things into account with distance, like an inferior mirage that you can't see because it's so far away. You know, at the bottom of something, things like that. There's a lot, you know, the topography underneath the water, all this kind of stuff. They never take these things into account. But just if we work, work purely off perspective, they don't take that into account at all, right? So <clears throat> the challenge is as follows. My claim is this, right? And this is what would prove the Earth to be a flat plane. Now, not that I have al not already done this with my previous two videos uh, concerning this perspective and this observation here from Blackpool in 2021. But my claim is very simple. My claim is, one second, I just want to get an annotated line, right? My claim is simple. There's Dale Craig, right, for the observer in relation to Blackpool Tower. Now, due to angular sizes, um, and a perspective view, it appears like Dale Del Craig is below the height of Blackpool Tower. Now, this doesn't have to be happen. Uh, this can happen over a great distance or a short distance. Doesn't matter. As I've shown, it's just the effect of visual occultation. So, but what would prove the globe to be, even though that proves the globe to be completely incorrect and false, the point being that what will prove it to our opposition is the following. Now, when I say prove it to them, it's up to them to accept reality or not, right? But I'm going to show them something that can't happen on the globe. My prediction is, is that if you take a drone and set it at an altitude of 20 feet, exactly where the exact altitude and position that the photographer, uh, I think his name was Jackman, um, in 2021 took this photograph from. So he was, uh, his exact location and, and uh, observer height is known. And if you take a drone, bring it to there, good quality drone, a good 4K, one of the good ones, a Mavic 4, Pro 4 or something, and hold it at exactly that position on a day without any uh, wind interference or anything, and bring it vertically, straight up. That my prediction is that as it goes up, the mountain will appear to rise up in relation to the tower, to the point when, let's say we treat this green dot as the, as the drone to the point where as the drone rises right up vertically then the mountain will also appear to rise to the point where when the drone appears to be looking over the top of the tower the mountain will be higher than the tower so as the drone goes up the mountain will appear to grow higher than the tower because it is higher than the tower and as the drone goes down it will appear to lower again purely down to perspective this can't be our curve, you see. This is a, an effect of perspective, right? Not our curve. If this observation here, if this observation is due to our curve, which I know it's not, then that can't happen. Because what that is, as you bring up the drone, right? As the drone raises, right? And the mountain at the background appears to rise as the drone raises, that is purely optical. Just like with the horizon, the way it appear, always appears appears to rise to eye level. It's purely optical um, with the horizon. As, as you rise up, the, the distance that you're seeing is spreading out. So it's, the horizon is actually moving out further from you, giving you the impression, due to it expanding out the way, that it's rising with you. right? As I showed in my short video in the, at the end of my last video. Well, if you want to watch that, just you just have to. You can just watch the last two minutes of it. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about.
That's where the video is. And it's linked in there if you want it. So on a globe, this can't happen. Because on a globe, as you you raise up an altitude, the, your view will change to the mountain. Your angle of view to the mountain will change. You'll get to see probably more the base of the mountain. or more. It depends on how far the mountain will be away on a globe. But what won't happen is the mountain won't rise up uh, to above the tower. That can only happen if the earth is flat. Because that means they're both on the same horizontal baseline, right? Sea level is the same for both of them. Sea level, right? No having no point higher or lower than another. Like these two blue dots, right? They're on a level. And so is the green one with them. Excellent. So as it rises up, the mountain will rise uh, will have to rise up above the tower for my prediction to be correct, right? As it goes down, the mountain will appear to go down. So it will appear to rise up and appear to go down. And that can only happen on a flat plane with perspective. But if we live on a globe earth, then that can't happen. Because the reason that the mountain appears below the tower, right, is because of it's a, it's because of geometry and not optics. So because the mountain is below the tower because of geometry, then raising up the drone here within the green, that is not going to change it. It will change the view, but it won't change the mount, what the mountain does or the position of the mountain. It still will have to be below the tower, right? So even when you get up towards the top of the tower, the mountain will still be below it. No matter what way you do it, the mountain will still be below that straight line. So the straight line of sight that the drone here would have, that mountain will have to be always lower, right? If we lived on a globe, because it's purely geometry. Okay, so just to show you quickly. Okay, so on I show with the flat plane first. On a flat plane, right? Let's just say these are like this is whatever. They're just two different things of different heights, right? The line of sight is blocked to the to the top or to all of this green line, right? By the red line, right? So let's just say we raise up, right? Part the way. Right, when we raise up part away, now we can now if this is a drone, you are starting to see the top of the green line. If we raise it up to here, which is in line with the top of the red line, you will definitely see a portion of the top of the green line. Let's say they're both fences. Let's say they're both a fence, two garden fences of 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 different sizes. Right, if we raise it up again, right. Suddenly, we're seeing over that red line and we're seeing down, right? Now, we might end up seeing over the top of the mountain, but you won't get this effect like that, like you like uh, on a globe, right? You won't see it. You won't see this green line appearing to raise up. And let's just say, because of angular size, uh, when you change the angle, the angular size, when you change the angle, the angular size might change a little bit, but probably be pretty much equal. Um, point being is that as you raise up, your angle of view to this will change, right? But you'll, when you're looking over the top of the red line, you right because the green one is higher or is a higher up, right? You will still be looking at directly at the green one, right? So if we bring it back down, back down to here, right? To look at the top of uh, that, that uh, I can't see it. I have to look over, or if this is just a pole, I have to pass the pole to see the green line. If it if it's an actual fence, then I must have look over the fence and I can't see it. So bring up the drone, right? And in a straight line, I can see the top of it. And I'm looking over the top of the red line, right? Now, that's just purely perspective, right? Your sight line is being blocked by the red line, stopping you from seeing the red line, the green line. So the, the red fence is blocking the green fence, right? Simple as. But on a globe, that's not what will happen. On a globe, what will happen is this, right? If this red line is above the surface of the globe, right, uh, um, at a, in a way or at a point where it's hot in a straight line, it's higher than the top of the green line, what will happen is this. As, right, I'm going to be here uh, as an observer looking over the top of that red line, not being able to see the top of the green line. As I raise up, right, what will happen is once I reach, let's just say I reach equal height with the red line. Let's make sure I'm at equal height with the red line, right? Once I reach equal height with the red line, what will happen is, in a straight line of view, right? In straight line of view, 
what am I going to get? I'm going to be over the top, uh, or still over the top of the green line. Now, that can't happen on the flat plane, as I showed you. Because on the flat plane, when, I'm, when if I just bring it down to here, when I'm looking straight over the top, or straight at the top, uh, or just over it, through the top, or over the top of the red line, I'm looking at the top part, the three quarters way up of the green line. But that won't happen on the globe, because the reason for the green line, right, appearing lower than the red line, is because of the curve, right? I'm just going to extenuate that a bit, right? Because of the curve, right? So the reason that the green line, at the top of the green line appears lower, is not optical, it's geometric. So as this raises, right, up, no matter what height to go to, right, that green line in a straight line of sight, right, will never be higher than the red line. Now, I will eventually have an angle down to the top of it, right? I will have an angle down to the top of it. But if I am looking directly, right, at the exact height of the red line, because the red line is above that because of geometry, then I have to be looking over the top of the green line. That's just the way it is. It's not optical. There is no optical optical or perspective within their paradigm. There is only geomet geometric, right? They don't account for any perspective. So if you do an observation, they're going to put everything in orthographic view and see how much of it, it went over the curve. That's what they're going to do. Whereas when it comes to a flat plane, when I reached the top, let's just say just over the top of the red line, I'd be looking at three quarters of the green line. Whereas on this, in this scenario, that won't be the case. When I reach just over the top of the red line, I'm still looking over the top of the green line. Whereas in whereas I have to go up higher, right, than the red line, right, and then look down over the top of it to get the same view. So if we're on a globe, then there is no way for this effect to happen up here. Right, what has to happen is as you rise, right, and meet meet the top of the red line, then you will still have to be looking over the top of the green one. And that's the way it's going to be. Because if the reason, right, for this mountain in the back in the background, Dale Craig, if the reason for that being lower than the tower, Blackpool Tower is ge ge is our curve, then that mean it means it's geometric. Right? Which means that raising an altitude won't change it. Right? But if it's if raising an altitude does change it, then, then it, that means it's not geometric, it's only optical. And if it changes it at all, it means the perspective exists and the globe doesn't. It's that simple. I've said this many times, and QE says it, it's actually that simple. Perspective is not part of their paradigm. So as soon as you start bringing perspective and other natural effects into it, it takes away their paradigm. So they have to have those things o o o omitted from their from their uh, mathematics. That's why their mathematics are orthographic and they never add in angular size change or any of these things. They, Mick West will add in the angular size change of the hidden amount. So the part they say has gone over the curve, he'll give you the angular size change of that. But what about the angular size change of the part that's not hidden? Right? Yeah, that's not part of our maths because angular size change is not part of our maths. Right? If, if half of this tower is claimed to have gone over the curve, then the the bottom half of the tower will have an angular size, but the top half won't, <laughs> according to Big West and all these people. Because the bottom half doesn't have an angular size change. None of it has an angular size. There is no angular size. There is no optical drop. There is no visual occultation. There's no compression. There's not, none of these things. There's no inferior mirage, really. All these things are all omitted from their, from their calculations. So if they have a problem with, with us, right, and they want to claim that this is somehow glow proof, which is not totally proven to be flattered, then the absolute the absolute way they can figure out if it's geom geometric or, or, or perspective is just do the do the challenge. It's that simple. If you raise up, right, if this is higher than that, right? So let's just make sure, right? Right? So you have to the foreground right object. Right? If that appears higher than the background object, then when you raise up to just above the foreground object, if that is the case, if it appears higher because of earth curve, not because of perspective, because of earth curve, then when you look over the top of it, you have to still be looking over the top of the, of the background object. Whereas on a flat plane, that's not the case. 
on a flat plane, when you look over the top of the foreground object, you will be looking directly at the, f at the background object. And the reason you'll be looking directly at the background object is because it's taller, <laughs> And they're both off the same level. Whereas this doesn't have a level, it has an equal distance from the center point. From as equal, it has an equal distance from a center point. There is no level on a globe. So there's the challenge, right? Now, there are certain things that caveats that must be made. You can't use something in the distance that has a massive, so far away that its angular size makes it really small. Because then when you look up over the top of the foreground object, it's going to still appear like the background object is, is really still, you're still like as if you're still looking over the top of it when you're not. You're not looking over the top of, top of it. It's just it's so small in the distance, something that can't happen within globe mathematics or on a globe. It's got so small in the, di in the distance that it looks like you're looking over the top of it. If you're just standing there looking at it from a distance, you know, with just your eyes at ground level. You know, I've seen mountains in the distance and they've, they've compressed with angular size so much that you end up just look. It's like, it's like as if you're looking at the top of them or over the top of them purely because they're in the distance. So that's not allowed. It has to be, especially, what I would especially like it to be would be this. For someone to go out there, there is people who have drones, right, on both sides who could go here, right, and do that challenge. Let's see when you raise up the drone, right? Now, what I'm saying is when you raise up the drone, let's see if the mountains come up. Because that can't happen on a globe. This mountain can't appear to come up if you're raising up a drone. That, that won't happen. The, what has to happen is as the drone goes up, right? As the drone goes up, right? In accordance with that straight line of view, right? As the drone goes up, that mountain can't appear to rise above this. Because if it's lower than this, if the mountain is lower than the tower or whatever, the hill is lower than the building, whatever, then there's no way, due to earth curve, then it can't rise up and appear higher. That's the point. Because that's at that point, you're straightening out your globe, right? 7 over and greater than 7 over 6 or nonsense, right? That's a load of rubbish, right? Because what that is is purely perspective at that point. So it makes a lot of sense as to why they're coming up with things like 7 over 6 or don't they? Because they want to, they want to unbend their globe when they need to, like in these situations. I'm sorry now, you can't do that, right? If you're rising up, right, the background object cannot appear to rise up with it. It cannot appear to be rising up with it, and it certainly cannot appear to be higher than the foreground object. If you're seeing, if you're seeing the mountain lower than the tower from your position, then that has to be geometric and not perspective, not optical. Now, I'm sorry I've had to labour this a bit, but it has to be ge geometric. It can't be optical in any way, shape, or form. If you can prove that that's purely geometric, then you've got you've got pretty strong proof on your hands. But it, if that mountain or whatever in the background starts to rise as you're rising your drone, you're in a lot of trouble, Boris. It's that simple. Basically, you're in serious trouble because you've got the debunked perspective. You've got to prove it's geometric and not optical. So... Best of luck with it. Share far and wide. Far and wide. <laughs> Share far and wide. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.